welcome back friends so in today's topic we are going to cover the technical details of rra and this particular rra in my hand is of leroy summer alternator so leroy summer alternators are basically combined with cat engines and sold in the market so in this video we are going to cover up all the important features of this particular rra as we can see uh, there are a total four blocks which form this uh, rra unit and uh, we can also see that the right side extreme right side block has only two screws whereas all the left side other three have three screws each so let's see how this thing combines and work as a full rra unit we will be also discussing how the rra is mounted on the rotor shaft but first we'll see how the thing works and how it is been tested so here is a small diagram uh, here you can see this is a small diagram it depicts three points point 1 2 and 3 as per the diagram the point 1 is our ac point then point 2 is our positive terminal and point 3 is our negative terminal so now we will test this thing so now we will test this rra so we have placed two plates shorting plates on the rra assembly so this particular plate is shorting all the three number terminals of the block uh, of the block so you can see this is a shorting plate which shorts all the three number terminals and this is the second shorting plate which shorts all the four or uh, two number terminals of the rra so in this way we have mounted two shorting plates one will be positive one will be negative and the remaining three screws which we can see right on the screen this are our three ac screws so ac terminals of the rra as this alternator is a three phase alternator there will be three ac points in it and this particular empty block where you can see there is no screw this particular thing is actually our surge suppressor so if you have seen my other previous videos you will know what is a surge suppressor so in this complete assembly we will see there are three rra blocks and one surge suppressor block so combine it makes four so this is our ac point this is second ac point and then is a third ac point so now start the stress testing it testing method for this rra is very simple uh, you have to select uh, or you have to keep a constant probe on your dc point and move the ac terminal so now what we have done is we have kept the red probe constant and we are rotating the black which is kept on the ac point so in this way i can find out if there is any fault with this rra so now in the second method we see we keep black probe on the dc point and we rotate the ac probes so this is the second one here you can see 0.414 is the value so any any value above 0.3 and below 0.4 in the range of 0.4 is considered to be a good rra so this way we test the rra and if all the values are 0.3 or 0.4 range then we assume it to be healthy so to be more precise there is one more may, way we can where we can check individual blocks so in this way now what you can see in the screen we check the individual block of this rra so in this method same you can see one probe is kept constant and then the other probe is rotated so basically there is one anode and one cathode so respectively all the values will be 
displayed on the meter so this is the second block here also you can see the value is 0.4 that means this RRI is healthy so it is tested on the both side anode side and the cathode side so 0.43 this is also good now the third block you see 0.42 is good now you can see the screw is loose I think we will tighten it and now again the value is 0.42 that means these three blocks are good and the third one uh, the fourth block is our surge suppressor so when you check the surge suppressor it should be always be overload so this surge suppressor is good healthy so this the this way this RRA is being tested so best part of this RRA is that this RRA comprises of four blocks and in any situation if any particular block is found to be faulty that particular block can be dismantled and replaced with a new block so in this way we need not replace the full RRA we can only replace the block or the particular block which is defective and get the things moving so friends now after our testing let's see how this RRA is mounted on the rotor shaft so basically this RRA is mounted on the non-drive end side of your rotor shaft with total 5 connections so your two red wires will be your main rotor windings here you can see there are two red wires of your rotor winding connections and three blue wires one two three three blue wires of your exciter rotor and the final part is the four, fourth block which is your surge suppressor so here is the full connection of your RRA uh, which comprise of uh, two rotor wires and three exciter rotor wires friends thanks for watching have a good day